Hello again. <clears throat> now I'm going to solve another structure. Uh, this is a little bit more complex than the previous episode. So let's see how we are collecting the information from the um, spectra are given. So first of all, um, if you see in the mass spectra that it is showing 136 and the molecular structure is C88802. <clears throat> so uh, first of all, uh, find out the solder number. So uh, 8 plus 1 minus 8 over 2. So it will be 9 minus 4. So you have solder number 5. So in my lecture in the solder, um, video <clears throat> i mentioned if you have the sort of number four or more than four then first of all you can consider you might have an, a benzene ring aromatic ring and it can be also um, <clears throat> observed in the proton enamor if you see the peak around seven to eight then you can say you have the pro, uh, aromatic ring so in the proton enamor if you see there is peak from seven to eight so it is confirmed that you have the benzene ring and for a benzene ring your soda will be four so still you have one more soda so that means you have a double bond or a carbonyl group that could be one soda so total five so uh, let's start from the ir so now from the molecular formula uh, and also like if you see C8H8 like C is uh, 12 like carbon is 12 so carbon 12 plus a 12 times 8 plus hydrogen 1 times 8 plus oxygen 16 times 2 so you will get 136 <clears throat> so this is the molecular mass and so now um, you you can think uh, soda is 5 molecular mass is 136 and also in the ub it is saying um, lambda is 277 nanometers so the, again it can be like n to pi star transition so again n to pi star transition normally is like for the carbonyl group so let's see if we have the carbonyl group here um, so here we have the ir from the ir we will look for the carbonyl group and uh, looks like we have a carbonyl group uh, if you look here 1698 so around 1700 so this is for a carbonyl group and um, from my previous uh, lectures I said like if you have two oxygen sometimes you need to think you might have a carboxylic acid or you might have a ester uh, so in some cases you need to think differently because based on other information all times if you have the ox two oxygen that may not be carboxylic acid or ester it depends on all other information too so we have the carbonyl group and also i mentioned previous if you have the carbonyl group also look for the aldehyde so there should be uh, two distinct peak around 2800 and 2700 uh, peak so here looks like we have two peak here one is 2700 another is 2800 so along with the carbonyl group and also 2700 and 2800 so you have the carb aldehyde group so it is an aldehyde and it also can be confirmed from the proton enamor so if you see any peak around 9 to 10 so it is for clearly that aldehyde hydrogen so in the proton enamor you can clearly see that you have a peak around 9 to 10 so that is a aldehyde so now from the ir and from the proton enamor you can clearly see that you have a aldehyde group um uh, so now we can confirm we have a aldehyde group now go to the carbon enamor so there is a peak um around uh 50 to 60 a carbon okay so a carbon 50 to 60 so that carbon could be oxygenated carbon like o methoxy 
um, or methoxy or O-methyl carbon. So any carbon next to oxygen normally show up around 50 to 60 or sometimes 50 to 65, something like this. So we have a methoxy carbon, it is confirmed. And in the carbon enamel, I mentioned if you have the carbon um, from 110 to 160, so in that case, you can say uh, those are like ar aromatic carbon or like double bonded carbon, like uh, sp2 carbon, okay? So you have a benzene ring. And another very important um, distinct information you need to remember from my proton enamel lecture, I told if you see two doublet in the aromatic region where like seven to eight, two doublet, so this is expanded, two doublet. So when you have two doublet directly, so you can think you have a benzene ring that is one four di substituted. What I mentioned like really a couple of times in my previous video, if you have two doublet, that means you have one four di substituted benzene ring. So one hydrogen and another hydrogen and this uh, one hydrogen and another hydrogen. So uh, if it is A, this is also will be A. If it is B, this is also will be B. So for A proton, it will be a doublet. And for B proton, that will be another doublet. So both A, this A will be same. And both B proton will be same. So those two will show you two doublet for two proton. Now, uh, let's... Uh, let's find the uh, information from the benzene ring so here in the benzene ring uh, carbon nmr uh, you have one two three four four different carbon so uh, now if we draw the structure like benzene ring again so if you have uh, this uh, how many different carbon you will see so one let's see another color one two three four and this will be same and uh, this will be same and uh, i can say not this actually uh maybe this so this uh these two will be different so I'll, anyway, uh, maybe I can draw this way. So now you can uh, find the color, like uh, what I'm doing. So how many color you see in this? So uh, blue, one, yellow, two, red, three, and black, four. So total four different aromatic carbon should be visible in the aromatic region. So in the proton decoupled, uh, you will see one, two, three, and four, okay? And the uh, uh, peak around 190, that is always for aldehyde, aldehyde carbon, okay? And uh, the top one is a DEPT. So DEPT is showing the CH peak, like CH peak will show up as up, and CH peak uh, up. And there is another carbon that is like around six, uh, 50 to 60, that is also up. And we already know this is like CH3 like OCH3 peak okay so what are the information now we have in our hand so let's make it clear or easy the total information so we have a one two di substituted benzene ring okay and another thing in the proton number if you see the peak around three to four a singlet so that is uh, definitely um, a proton containing carbon which should be the next to the oxygen that is also visible in the carbon enamel so i'm talking about this this proton signal which is like in between three to four that means again omethoxy that hydrogen peak will always show up in between three to four and that is also matching with the carbon omethoxy carbon so here um now you can think the number of hydrogen okay so integration value so if you think this if you think uh, this is aldehyde proton that means one proton and this size is for then two proton okay 
two proton integration value and this size is for three proton so definitely three proton means it is a methyl group and this two proton and also this is two proton so you now you can get some idea three proton uh, which is around three to four that means that three proton means like ch3 that ch3 should be next to oxygen because you have a oxygen so um now from those information from total information what i am what we are getting so one benzene ring and that should be let's do in a space so uh if we take one benzene ring and that should be one for di substituted and then we already know we have an aldehyde group so we can put aldehyde group here one side and that is showing that hydrogen is showing one proton signal or like aldehyde carbon as well as in the ir also and you have one more hand and since we have a o methoxy groups so you can put here o methoxy so if you now consider this structure then you will see uh, all those information matching with those uh, spectra given so you have aldehyde proton or aldehyde group that is kind of confirmed from the ir you have a carbonyl group and also the proton at 2700 and 2800 so aldehyde and that also further can be confirmed by the proton enamor uh, where the proton enamor show a peak around 9 to 10 ppm so that is confirmed so you have the carbonyl uh, sorry aldehyde functional group and you have two doublet in aromatic region which is confirmed that you have a benzene ring which is like uh one two sorry one four di substituted uh, otherwise it will not give you the two doublet and from the soda number we calculated the soda is five so from the five four is gone for the aromatic ring and one is remaining for for this aldehyde group carbonyl double bond so <clears throat> by this way now we can uh, connect all those pieces together and we are getting this 4 methoxy benzaldehyde so this is the structure from those um, uh, spectra so i hope you understand um, this problem and if you have any question please ask me in the comment section and i will try to explain thank you for watching and please if you didn't subscribe yet please subscribe my channel and you will get more video on different chemistry and spectroscopy thank you bye